Good morning, Year 6, or Year 7, as you will be when I meet you in September. Um, my name is, Ism is Mrs. Turvey, and I'm one of the French teachers at Sears Academy North. Our title today is Bienvenue, which means welcome, and you are very, very welcome, and we're looking forward to seeing you in September. Before that, we've got a little bit of work to do, and you will have a practice booklet um, for you to work through, just to give you a few basics before you come to our lessons in September. Do as much of this as you can, because the more you know before you come to us, the easier you're going to find it. Now, during this little video, you are going to uh, need a pen and paper, because I will ask you to practice things and it's up to you how you use this video you can go all the way through it if you've already done quite a lot of French and if you've um, done some work in your practice booklet if not you can keep coming back to it and um, use it as you go through just to support you so let's first of all have a little look and see what we already know about France so there's some questions there so in a moment pause the video and see if you can answer those questions. Okay, pause the video now. Well, now you've had a little chance to um, see if you can answer those questions. It doesn't matter if you didn't know any of them, because you will do once we finish doing this. It's all about learning, all about carrying on. So, the capital of France is Paris. Okay, you may have heard of Paris, well known for its shopping, and the Eiffel Tower, of course. And then the French flag is blue, white, and red stripes, okay, going up and down. The hat that we tend to link to French people, along with a few other things, but the hat is the beret. You know the little flat hats that people put on their heads? The long red stick, you might just know it as a French stick, but it's actually called a baguette. Okay, that's also the word for a wand. Okay, two countries which border France. Well, there's lots of countries to border France, but you might have got any two of these. And then the name of the French president, our French president is called Emmanuel Macron. Now, as you can see today, our objective is to be able to give details about yourself accurately. Now, for some of you, that might just be starting off with your name and age because you might not have done any French before. For a few more of you, that might be giving um, your birthday, things like that, depending on how much French you've done. And for some of you, you might be able to give details about any pets that you have and um, be able to give lots of use and colours as well. OK, so how we're going to work through this is, as I've just said to you, so we might just be able to give our name and our age. That's our starting point. Then we might be able to give in our birthday and add in another detail. And then we might be able to use some colours and do some other things. Now today we are going to be looking at all these things and I'm going to use these grammatical terms and I'm sure you've seen them before, but just to recap, so a noun is a naming word, a thing, a word that you use with the, an adjective describes your noun, so it's things like colours and size, a verb is a doing, being or feeling word, um, gender is whether something is masculine or feminine, that's something that you may not have come across before, but I will explain more about that, and plural just means when there's more than one. OK, so let's crack on. Right, so this is our alphabet. We're not going to spend too long on this today, but it would be good if you can practice it. OK, so I'm going to say the letters through for you and then you're going to repeat it with me. OK, this is in your booklet as well. So we've got A, B, C, D, U, F, G, H, E, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. As you can see, the French alphabet has the same letters as the English alphabet, but it's just when we say the sound of the letter, when we're spelling things out, that it sounds a little bit different. So now say it through with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
If you want to practice that a little bit more, either pause the video here or just rewind it a little bit so you can go through it with me again. You may already be very confident with that, so you can move on to the next slide. Okay, so let on we go. Oh, forgotten about this a little bit. See if you can practice saying your own name. Okay, so if I was going to spell out my last name, Turvey, I would say T U R V U Y. And that spells my last name, Turvey. So you have a little practice. See if you can do your own. See if you can do it without looking. If you want to practice that now? Pause the video. Okay, so now you've had a little chance to practice doing the alphabet. Let's move on to doing, doing a little bit of a practice. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little example now. So I'm going to spell out some names like this. So if I was spelling this out for you, I would say R A V E N S C R O F T. So you see how that works? Let's spell that out for you. And now you will be. So I want. So now I'm going to spell out some other names of some people that hopefully you've heard of, and see if you can work out who they are. Okay. So first one. Listening carefully. This is two words. First word. S. A M. I'll spell that again for you. S A M. Now the second name. S M E. Careful with that one. T Ash. Spell that second name again. S M E. T Ash. Okay, got all your letters down? Okay, I'm going to reveal the answer now. So if you need another minute, pause the video. Otherwise, here we go. That one is Sam Smith. Okay, number three. This is a very famous person. Okay, again, it's two words. D O N R L D. It's the first name. I'll spell it again. D O N R L D. Now your second word. T R U M P. Say that again for you. T R U M P. Are you ready? I'm going to reveal the answer. There we go. Donald Trump. Did you get that one? Okay, number four. Two words again. T A Y L O R. Let's say that again for you. T A Y L O R. O L. Second word. S W E F T. S W E F T. You got that one down? Okay. Did we manage to get Taylor Swift? And then the last one. Okay, we ready? First word, B, O, R, E, S. So that again for you, B, O, R, E, S. And the second word, G, O, H, N, S, O, N. I'll say that again. G O H N S O N. Did you end up with Boris Johnson? Okay, just a little bit of practice. 
It doesn't matter if you didn't do very well with that, we'll just need, you just need to keep practicing the alphabet. Okay, so let's move on to our next bit then. So these are some really key words and we need to know them, but we also need to know how to say them. Okay, so in your booklet, you will find the word say. Now say means it is. Okay, so say, it is. A means and, and that's how you say it. Il y a, there is. Don means in. Me means but. Now we've got a key word that we're going to be using later on today, so we need to know this one. On, A-N-S, means years. Okay, but notice when I say it, I don't say the S on the end. On. Now, key, quite a fancy dancey word, and some of you might be able to use this in the beginning of uh, year seven. It means who, but we say it like key, like the key in the door. And then on is means in, but we um, it sounds like on. Okay, so just some key words. The one I want you to remember from that from today is the ANS, the on, which means years. Okay, but in your booklet, you've got se, e, il y a, me, don. I might even have a key in there as well. Okay, so these are our basic greetings. Okay, so this is how we introduce ourselves to people. And this is how I've taken out of your little booklet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through how you say them. So we have the word for hello, bonjour, bonjour. You want to repeat that? Bonjour. We then have the word for hi, a bit more informal. Salut, salut. Okay, notice we don't say the T on the end. So we've got bonjour, hello, salut, hi. If you want to say hi, salut. Then we've got ça va, ça va. That's our question, how are you? Ça va? Okay, have a little practice. Then we have au revoir, au revoir. You want to have a go? And then a little one just to save us asking long questions. We can just be quite quick and go, et toi, et toi. Notice that we've got that little word, a eh, in there that we had in the um, on the last slide, the word, a. Eh. Et toi, you want to practice? Et toi. And then these two, very surprisingly, are the same. And in French, you can make a question just by changing your voice. So that when we had ça va, and our voice went up at the end, that meant, how are you? When we want to say, I'm well, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Then we just say, oui, ça va. Okay, ça va. And then sometimes we might be really well, so we can say, ça va bien. And we might be really good, in which case we can say, ça va très bien. Ça va très bien. Okay, and then some days you're not feeling so, good, so well and you may already know the little phrase come see, come sa, which is perfectly fine for you to use. Um, but we've got another one here. Ça va mal. And make yourself sound sad. Ça va mal. And then we're sort of in the middle of come see, come sa bit. We can say, a mal, a mal. And then we have merci. Merci. Thank you. And then we've got a little phrase here, à plus tard, à plus tard, which means see you later. Pause the video here, spend a little bit of time practicing those, making sure that you know what they mean. Okay, so we've had a little chance to practice these. So now I want you to just do a little bit of a listening. Okay, and I'm going to say some words, and you are going to write down all the words that I've just said and try and spell it correctly, and be try and remember what it means in English. So, first word. Salut. Salut. Okay, write it down. Now write down the English. I'm going to give you the answers now, so if you've not had a little chance to think about it. And you need to pause the video. If not, here we go with the answer. Salut, which means hi. Okay, next one. Merci. Merci. What does it mean? How do you write it? Okay, I'm going to show the answer now. 
our answer was merci and it means thank you or thanks. Next one. Au revoir. Au revoir. Write it down. Write down what it means. If you need a bit more time, pause it now because I'm going to show you the answer. Okay, answer coming up now. Au revoir means goodbye. Next one. Bonjour. Bonjour. What does bonjour mean? How do you say it? How do you write it in French? Okay, I'm going to show the answer now. So pause it if you need to. Okay, so bonjour means hello. And then finally, we've got ça va. Ça va. Okay. For our ça va, I, I, do, I said it in the way of I'm fine. But if you've written down how are you, that's absolutely fine. Because obviously it means the same thing whichever way around we do it. Okay, if you still need a little bit more practice with those, go back to the slide before and keep practicing those. Otherwise, let's move on. So, je m'appelle means I am called. And it is one of the worst spelt phrases that I've ever come across. People spell it wrong all the time. You are not going to be like that. You are going to spell it perfectly. We're going to practice that now. Okay, everybody with me. Je m'appelle. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now on your piece of paper, I hope you haven't written that down if you have folded paper over, because what you're going to do now is I'm going to make this disappear and then you're going to put the vowels back in. Okay, so there we go, it's rewritten. Now you need to put the vowels in. Okay, pause the video if you need to, because I'm going to be coming up with the answer now and what we should have done is we should have put in these vowels. So the E, the A, and the other two E's. There's actually only two vowels, the A's, the E's and the A's. Okay, so now we're gonna take it out and I'm gonna take the consonants out. Okay, and you need to put the consonants in. Try not, look up, try not to look at what you did before, fold your paper over. Okay, pause it if you need to, if you need a little bit more time. If not, Here's your answer. Did you spell it right? Okay, je m'appelle. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to spell it from memory. I've been kind to you because I put the apostrophe in the right place. And you're going to put all of the bits together. Again, hide any bits that you've been writing on, fold your paper over, because now you're going to do that. And I've put that up there to help you. Okay, check your answer. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time. And here we go, je m'appelle. Two P's, two L's. And the apostrophe comes after the M. So if you're not very sure on that, spend a little bit more time to practice it. Otherwise, we're going to be coming up with our super challenge, our memory. Okay, now we've got our question. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles means what is your name or or what are you called? Sometimes the two moves about. So sometimes you say, comment t'appelles tu? Or tu t'appelles comment? This is the way I say it. As long as it's got all those words in there, it doesn't really matter. So now your challenge. Right, I am called, and add your name on the end um, as well. How do you write it accurately in French? Pause the video, don't look back. Make sure you get that apostrophe in the right place. Okay, so. I'm going, to part, I'm going to show you the answers now. So did you get the J? Did you get the E? Did you get the space? Did you get the M? Followed by that apostrophe. Followed by the A. Followed by two P's. Followed by the E. Followed by two L's. followed by the E. If you didn't spell that right, I would really like you to go back and practice it a little bit more because it's really important that we can spell this correctly. Okay, it's all right being in year 11 and being able to do all these fancy dance things, but if you can't spell your mapel, then we're not gonna get very far. So we need to get, we need to have this in our heads 
P's in the right place, L's in the right place, apostrophe in the right place. Perfect. So now we've done that, zoom up out, we're going to move on to, if you think back to our objective, was to give our name and our age. So, quel age at you means how old are you? Okay. And in French, it's a little bit weird because this little phrase, je, actually means I have. And we're going to come on to that a little bit later in the lesson as well. So this is, I have 11 years. J'ai 11 ans. Everybody say that? J'ai 11 ans. Now, some of you might still be 10, in which case you'll say j'ai 10 ans. Okay, but when you get up to us in September, you will all be 11 years old. So this is where we'll start off. Okay, so j'ai 11 ans. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to put these words in order. Okay, so which way around do they go? And what we should have written down is j'ai 11 ans. Okay, so let's move on. So a little bit of a question for you. So now, if somebody asks you the question, comment tu t'appelles? What do you write in French? If somebody asks you the question, quel âge as-tu? What do you write in French? Pause the video now, write your answers. Okay, what we should have written down is je m'appelle, followed by your name, and the spelling won't change in French. And j'ai 11 ans. Some of you might have written j'ai 10 ans, which is absolutely fine. But you might want to pretend that you're 11 already so that you're all ready for September. Okay, now birthdays. This is now moving on to our secure. That was our next bit when we were um, getting a little bit more confident. I've put the last four letters in red because this is what people always do. They always spell these a little bit wrong because it looks like the English word anniversary. And so, pe so people try to make it into the English word, but it's not. It's the French word and it means birthday. Okay, so which is the correct spelling? Have a look at those very quickly. I'm going to give you in three, two, one. Which do you think is the right one? It is anniversaire. Did you get that right? If you didn't, have a little look at the spelling. Okay, so the way we do this, this is our question. Quand est ton anniversaire? When is your birthday? And then we say mon anniversaire. My birthday is the... And then in English, we can do month and then day and day and then month. But in French, it's always the number followed by the month. So work out what yours is. This is my birthday. OK, so I would say mon anniversaire, c'est le 6 avril. It's the 6th of April. OK, so try and write your birthday sentence. OK, you've got your practice booklets. So use that. Right. A little bit of a recall. What are the two ways to say hello or hi in French? How do you say goodbye? How do you say I am called? What does j'ai dis on me? Birthday in French, make sure you spell it correctly. Pause the video now, write your answers down for those. Okay, so now you've had your chan chance to write your answers down. This is what we should have ended up with. Did you get those right? Okay, so have a little check. Anything you didn't know, Go back through it and make sure that you know these and you're confident with these before we move on to the next bit. OK, now here we have some animals and these are all in your practice booklet. But I'm just going to say them to you so that you know what they sound like. So you've got un chien, un cheval, un oiseau, un chat, un poisson, un serpent. Now, these are all what we call masculine nouns. They've all got this urn at the front, which means a, a dog, a horse, a bird a cat, a fish, a snake. Then we've got these three here, and these are all feminine. And it's une araignée, une souris, une tortue. And every noun in French is either masculine or feminine. It doesn't mean it's a boy or a girl. It just means it's masculine or feminine. Don't want you to worry too much about that. I just want you to be aware that both un and une mean a. So now we've got our colours. We've got noir, black. Careful with your, your pronunciation. Noir, black, blanc, white, rouge, red, brun, brown, marron, also means brown, rouge, red, jaune, yellow, vert, green, bleu, blue. Now, if we wanted to say a black dog, we would use this. And 
very strangely in French, we put the dog before the colour. So we would say, un chien noir, un cheval marron, un chat jaune. Don't know how many yellow cats you got, but that's how you do it. Now, have a little look at this. These are the same colours, but we've got an E on the end of une. So we put an E on the end of our colour. Apart from marron, which doesn't change. So that's a really easy one to use. Now, if it already ends in an E, like rouge and jaune, we don't bother adding another one. And look at blanc here. Blanc adds in it, adds, adds, adds an H just to make it easy to say. So this becomes blanche. Now, this is getting a little bit complicated, so don't worry if you're getting a little bit lost because it will all be explained again to you in September. So don't worry too much. Those of you that have done quite a lot of French will be ready to move on to this. So when we're making a sentence, we have the J, which we said I have, a, uh, and then we say dog, black. In English, we say I have a black dog. Now we have I have a mouse black. Yeah, j'ai une souris noire. Notice we've got the N, E on the end of une, we've got the E on the end of souris. Okay, so how would you say I have a brown dog? I'm going to reveal the answer in three, two, one. It's C, because here we have the Nui and it's in the right order. Okay, I have a green tortoise. A little of your answers. Three, two, one. J'ai une tortue vet. It's got the E's on, it's in the right order. Oh, another I have a green tortoise, never mind. Let's move on from that one. Okay, I have a blue bird. I have a blue bird. Okay, in three, two, one. Your answer is A. Right order, right gender. And I have a white mouse. Answers in three, two, one. And here we go. Okay, so just a little bit to be careful of there. So we're now coming to the end of our little whiz through. Now, as I say, some of you will be working through this in different ways. So some of you may only be um, confident with doing the uh, emerging task introducing yourself and giving your age. Some of you will be ready to move on to this, some of you will be ready to move on to this. So you've got your three tasks here, task A, task B and C. Pause the video now and have a go at the task. Now you might want to have a go at task A and then check it and then move on to task B. You might want to go straight on to task B because you're very confident with task A. You might want to go straight for task C. It's up to you and then on the next three slides, which I'm going to go through in a moment, you have your answers. So pause the video now, complete your task. Right, so now you've had a chance to complete your task. So these are your answers for task A. If you didn't know them, go back and practice. If you did know this, then go back and have a little go at task B, as long as you got these all right. Okay, if you did task B, these are your answers coming up now. Okay, so task B, and again, check these answers. If you got them all correct, then go on to task, go back, have a little bit of a practice, and then have a little go at task C. And what would be really good is if when you come to us in September, you are able to write these details about yourself from memory. Okay, so we are really looking forward to seeing you in September. Make sure you have a lovely summer. Keep yourselves safe and I will see you in September.